So here is a big 150 pound motor. Now you already know the process of how I'm going to take it apart. So I'm just going to time lapse it, save me a bunch of time filming so I can concentrate on this. So first step, you got to take this plate off, take this back cover off, and then we'll split it. And then we got to extract the copper. So we'll see how well that goes. And unfortunately, I cannot lift this up on the table, so I'm going to be doing this from the ground. Let's see how many hits it takes to get this bad boy out. Ugh. That was a big pain. I don't really have a big punch. So I couldn't really punch it out, so I just had to keep whacking one of the sides until I got it out far enough to where I could really beat on it. Once I got one of them sides off, we were good to go. This big hunk of steel. That, now. that ain't light. That is oh, heavy. Alright, now I gotta get grinder and cut this thing up. taking this apart it's a bit smaller than I expected it is way too big to fit in my vise but too small to fit on some sawhorses like my original plan was in part one so I think I might try and split it and it's not too long so I think if I split it I can have a decent chance of pulling them out depending on how stuck they are in there cutting nice and smooth through the steel and then I'm like I'm bending over my back starting to hurt I'm like man oh day I wish I could pull it up on the table so my original thought process was I had to set this on the ground because it was too heavy for me to carry and pick up above my waist and then now this thing only weighs about 40 pounds 40 50 pounds well, I can pick that up above it, so I'm not going to move to the table and enjoy the table. Alright, so this piece of steel and copper here is too big for one saw blade to cut straight through. So I put in the smaller sawzall blade and then I'm just going to start it and just go all the way around. This method here is working, so it's going to take a little bit longer than all the other ones, but I can break the groups apart, and each group has like three rows of copper in them, and so I can just take one row of copper out at a time without sticking this in the vise because it is just so heavy. So by taking one row out at a time, I'm able to do that. Now this is going to take a while. 
but I am able to do it, so I got that going for me. There we go. Oh wait, I want to keep all this copper so I can measure how much I got. So there's starting stack. So the only scale I have available that is able to weigh a small amount of weight is this little food scale here. And it's at zero now. So I'm going to put this bucket on. And then I want to zero it out. Here is one of the big groups of copper. And that weighs one pound and seven ounces. Never mind, it only goes up to five pounds. So there's four, four pounds, eight and a half ounces. Zero. Wait, no, that's four pounds, three and three quarter ounces. Three pounds, 10 ounces. So the total would then be 17 pounds and 13 ounces. When I started this, I was thinking I was gonna get around 20 pounds of copper. That was what I was hoping for. Even though it's not 20 pounds, it is 17 pounds and 13 ounces and I think there's 16 ounces in a pound. So that's almost 18 pounds of copper. Now I'm just going around and say it's 18 pounds of copper. So 18 pounds of copper, that's still not terrible. Definitely not worth the work. We'll never do it again, most likely, unless copper goes way up. But I had fun doing it. Hope you enjoyed me following along. And I can't wait to get a little bit of paycheck from this. Sneak preview of an upcoming project. This is a chicken coop I'm going to convert into a trapping shed. Sorry it's filmed at night, but I had the gamma out and I wasn't going to get out just for this shot. So what needs done to is need to take all the inside stuff out, clean it all out, probably replace both floorboards, or not floorboards, replace the floor, and then clean it all out and insulate it. And I can use this as a trapping shed and it should keep the bugs out well enough to where my hides can dry and gives me a place to store all my stuff.